Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be playing around with the new ColourPop um, Daisy Does It collection. This is quite a bit of a, like, a bigger collection. It's not like huge, but there are a lot of products in here. So um, I don't wanna take like too much time talking. This collection is launching when you guys are watching this today, March 17th um, at 10 a.m. PST. As always, you guys can use my code. It is just Katrina and it'll save you 10% off the ColourPop website. So this is the Daisy Does It collection. It is 100% vegan. So I didn't actually know that until I looked at their Instagram right now. Um, and I like read the little card, but yeah, this collection is 100% vegan so that is really awesome um, but yeah let's just go ahead and jump into it I'm gonna be doing swatches um, close-ups doing a tutorial and giving my review as always so let's just go ahead and jump right in so the first thing that we have in this collection is the Daisy does it palette and this is what it looks like these are this is a 12 pan palette and it does have like the little the bigger pans that they've been doing as of recently um, I love the packaging on it. It's really cute. And then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. There isn't a mirror in here, um, just in case you guys were wondering. There are no pressed glitters in here as well, but there are a mixture of mattes, metallics, and there are, I think, two Super Shock shadows in here. So... Yeah, none of them have like a little asterisk next to it or anything. And again, this is 100% vegan. So um, yeah, it's very like neutral. It's really cute. Perfect for spring. Next thing that we have are six uh, Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stains. I was so excited to see these in the collection because I love this formula. Um, I I used, I think the ones in the Valent, no, in the Cherry Crush collection, I think those ones are with like glossy lip stains. I use those ones all the time. Um, but these are the shades that are in this collection. And again, that packaging um, on the Unicarton is like the same as the palette six shades in here and it says uh, to top off your daisy look with fresh lip color um, it says that these are the signature glossy lip stain formula in shades rose coral pink magenta warm nude and a deep sangria the darker shades and there is like a brighter like uh, corally color um, the one that I have on right now is called the tree hugger it's really cute. I like this color a lot. It's a nice like everyday kind of shade, but yeah, so those are the six glossy lip stains. Next we have three Super Shock Cheeks. Again, super excited about these because I love using the Super Shock Cheeks all the time. If you have been following me forever, you know, a drop of a hat is like one of my favorite blushes of all time. So whenever I see Super Shock Cheeks in the collection, I get super excited. Um, so we have three shades and the packaging is really cute. It has like the little daisies on it as well. So we have Doozy uh, Marguerite. I'm probably saying that wrong. I don't know. And then um, chamomile. A doozy is actually like a nice, like bright peachy pink shade. And then we have the marker. I, I'm saying that wrong. But then we have this like bright, bright like pink shade, which is really pretty. I think that'll look so nice on like um, more like tan or deeper skin tones. And then we have a uh, chamomile, which is like a little bit more of like a rosy, like a dark rosy, almost like terracotta y shade. Um, so those are the three Super Shock cheeks. And we have three little Super Shock duo sets. So um, each one has two in there. So the first one that we have is Lawn Party, and it just is in that packaging where you like slide it off, and then it has the two little duos in there. Um, again, the unicartons are the same as like the palette and stuff. It has like the daisies all over it. So the first one we have is Lawn Party, and this one is more like a lighter gold and then like a nice like yellowy gold shade. Then we have Flower Buds. This one has a pretty lavender shade in here and then like a darker foresty green, which I love. This one is definitely a fave. I love greens and lavenders, so this was like right up my alley. And then the last one we have is Prom, and this one is like a sagey green <laughs> shade, I guess. And then it also has like a nice like champagne shadow in there as well. So that is the three Super Shock duos. Last but not least, we have a cream gel liner set. There are five cream gel liners in here, and cream gel liners are one of, I think, ColourPop's best products, so I'm always excited to have some new ones. We have a brown, a nice like coral shade, a light yellowy, like pale yellow shade, a foresty green and then a nice like metallic bronzy gold shade in here so those are the shades that are in the cream gel liner kit and this one's called upsy daisy which i think is really cute so that is everything in this collection like i said this is launching today when you guys are watching this so um once it's available i'll link it um, I'll link it all and stuff down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, so this is the look that I came up with today using the collection. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and to hear my final thoughts on this collection, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with the palette. And I kind of have a look in mind, hopefully. 
it comes out how I want it to look. <laughs> so I'm actually, I think I'm going to do like um, kind of a cut crease. Um, I'm going to start off with the shade Rooted, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to keep everything like above my crease because I'm going to go in with a Super Shock on my lid, I think. So I'm going in with Rooted and I'm just going to put this right up here. And I'm also going to wing this out. I've just been like in a cut crease mood lately which actually never in a cut crease mood so I don't know why but I'm just I just have been lately so I'm just taking that shade and using it as my transition and keeping it above my lid mainly just in this crease and then winging it out towards my brow and this is like a perfect transition shade I love colors like this okay so that now that I have that in my crease I'm gonna go in with like actually i'm gonna go in with nice stems and like butter it's these two i'm just gonna kind of mix them um nice stems has kind of like that it's like one of those shimmery mattes so i'm gonna like tap off some of the that on the back of my hand so that shimmer comes off um but i'm just going back and forth between those two and i'm going on like a small with a smaller brush this is the color pop e9 and i'm just gonna define that crease so that way when I cut the crease, it'll be a little bit more defined and have that like cut crease look. And I'm keeping this above my natural crease just so when I look straight, um, it'll show up since I do have kind of a hooded eye. So I'm just kind of doing that shape right there and just winging this out. Go back with the brush I was using before, by the way, this is a ColourPop E2. And I'm just going to go over that to blend them together so everything's nice and seamless. Back, I'm just going to keep going back and forth just so um, everything is nice and blended. I'm not taking anything on this fluffy brush. I'm just using whatever's left on there um, to blend everything out. I'm just keeping like this lid area pretty blank so I can go in with the Super Shock. I'm going to take some concealer. This is just the ColourPop Pretty Fresh concealer and I'm just going to go in to just cut that crease. I'm taking a little Alamod Cosmetics. This is like a little flat brush. And if you need to, you can go back with those two shades and just kind of intensify that crease, cut crease a little bit more. I and just did that on both eyes. So I think I'm going to go in with this Super Shock. This is from the Flower Buds. Yeah, the little Flower Buds duo. I'm going to take Ray Day. It's this really pretty like lavender color. I want to put that on my lid. Hopefully it looks good. I don't know. I was going to either go in with this one or like the green one, but I feel like I've been doing a lot of green looks lately. So I want to do something more lavender. I'm just going to take this on a little flat brush. This is a Makeup Shack T77. I'm just going to put this exactly where that lid area is that's all blank. Really, really pretty. I'm also just going to go in with my finger and just kind of intensify this. I just want to use a brush to get like close to that crease. Okay, so now that I have that on the lid, I'm going to go in with one of the cream gel liners. I think I'm going to take, I kind of want to take this and just kind of do like a small little wing with this. Or, yeah, let's see how that looks. Okay, on point, by the way. Hmm. I actually don't like the way that that is looking. I'm actually going to go in with the brown liner. This one is called Sunnyvale. Since it's kind of brown in the crease, I'm like, let me just kind of keep up with that brown. So I'm just lining my eyes with this. I'm going to do like a small wing. Just like that. Okay, so this is what the eyes are looking like right now. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I might add some like color to the lower lash line because um, I thought that lavender was going to like show up a little bit more lavender, but it didn't. 
I don't know, maybe once I have the rest of my makeup on, it'll look better, but I'm gonna go do that really quick and put my foundation, concealer on, all that stuff, and then we'll come back and try out the blushes, which I'm really excited for, so I'll be right back. I kind of just put on my foundation, concealer, contour, and stuff right now, so we're gonna move on to the blushes, and I think I'm gonna use this one. This one is called Doozy. I love the Super Shock um, blushes, so I'm super excited to see them in this collection. So this one's just like very right up my alley. It's like a peachy, orangey, blush. These are matte, by the way. I think all of them are matte. Um, so I'm just going to apply this with the ColourPop F9. This is my favorite brush for like cream blushes or super shock blushes or whatever. So I'm just kind of taking some on my brush. Oh yeah, this is like very much right up my alley. Love this. This is so cute. I love this color. It's very perfect for spring. Just contour my nose really quick and then we'll move on to the lower lash line. So I really want to use the yellow in this palette. Um, so I'm just going to take that and just put that on my lower lash line and see how that looks. I'm not really feeling the yellow on the lower lash line. Not giving. Kind of use that maybe as like a transition shade for right now because I don't really care for how it looks. Flower Girl, it's this shade. It's like kind of a pinky, rosy color. I'm just gonna go over that. Look isn't what I thought it was gonna be. I have like a different look in mind. I mean, I still like it, but I'm like kind of just winging it at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna take uh, like Butter, which was one of the shades that we used in the crease earlier and just put that on my lower lash line as well. <laughs> that is, I think what I'm gonna do for right now for the look, I actually am gonna take a little bit of Bloom Room, which is this really pretty like shimmery olive green color. I think I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. Okay, I like that for the inner corner. It's a really cute inner corner color. Go ahead and just uh, put on some mascara, um, bake a little bit, and then we'll come back and finish off with the lip products, which they are the glossy lip stains, I think, right? So they're the glossy lip stains, and I love that formula, so I'm really excited to play around with them, so I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and just put on some mascara. I just have mascara on. Honestly, I just hate wearing lashes now. Like, whenever I have lashes on, I just, I don't know. I just like the way that just regular mascara looks these days. I don't know why, but... I just did that, baking a little bit. Um, we're going to move on to the lip products. I'm really excited because I love the Fresh Kiss lip products, the glossy lip stains, the lip lacquers, literally anything from the Fresh Kiss lip product line. I love these and like the Luxe lip oils, I think are my favorite uh, lip products from ColourPop now. I just, I love them. Um, but I'm going to take the shade Tree Hugger and see how this one looks. I have a little bit of the lip oil on right now. Okay, ooh, I like this color. Love. Oh, the glossy lip stains. I love the formula of these a lot. They just feel so nice on the lips. Feels like a gel almost. I like this color a lot. I think it's really pretty. It has kind of like a peachy, orangey undertone to it, but it has a little bit of that like rosiness as well. I forgot to highlight my nose. I'm just going to do that really quick. I'm using the Kylie highlighter. This came out with the Valentine's Day collection. I love this highlighter so much. <laughs> Let me dust off this powder. Okay, so this is the finished look. I like how this look ended up turning out. I was kind of like iffy at first. I didn't really know if I liked it or not because I had like a different look in mind, but I still like how it turned out. I think it's really cute. It's really cute for spring. I like the colors. Um, so let me go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on this collection. So I love the lip products. The glossy lip stains are one of my favorite formulas from ColourPop. So I was really excited to see like a lot. We have how many in here? Six, six new shades. So I was really excited to see that. I love all six of them um formula so good i really really like them um the super shock blushes i love all three shades i think are really pretty um i love the one that i put on it's just like such a pretty orangey peachy shade it's nice and bright perfect for spring um and it's just, I don't know, I really like it. I'm looking at it in the mirror. It's really pretty. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of matte blushes, but I do really like this one. I think it looks really nice. So the eyeliners in this collection as well, I think they were really pretty. I like the brown one that I used um, on like to do a little wing. I like the pink one that's in here. The green one is really pretty as well. Um, so I like those. 
the little super shock duos i think all of them were really nice i love the colors in those as well i like the one that i have on i just wish it was like a little bit more lavender um it kind of i don't know i feel like you can't really tell on camera how lavender it looks but i just wish it was like a tad bit like brighter lavender um but i do like the rest of them i like the green one in here the yellow one is really pretty that like dark foresty green is so pretty i'm excited to use that one um and then lastly for the palette i think the palette is probably like my least favorite thing of the entire collection but i do think it has a lot of wearable shades in here i think this is still like a really nice um palette for spring but it's probably just like my least favorite thing out of the entire collection i definitely think that there are other color pop palettes that have like a similar color story in here i definitely think like the main thing that you see when you look at this palette is is the yellow and I wasn't like too impressed with the yellow in here um so other than that if you take away like the yellow it just kind of looks like any other ColourPop palette in my opinion so even though it is good I really like the packaging though the packaging is so cute I love the daisies and like the little holographic like gold design on it as well um but I do think it is like my least favorite thing in the collection I definitely would recommend everything else the super shock um cheeks the lip products the um super shock eyeshadows the eyeliners um I love the rest of it so yeah definitely my least favorite thing is the palette but that doesn't mean it's not good I think it's still a good palette it performed well the browns in here are really pretty they're like definitely browns I would use like on a daily basis so that is really good if you're like somebody that likes neutral eyeshadows and stuff and you know you're gonna get use out of it then definitely if you like the colors in here pick it up but there are definitely other color pop palettes that would have like similar color stories um if you are going to pick anything up, I would definitely say like pick up one of the glossy lip stains, uh, Super Shock Cheek, and maybe like one of the little eyeshadow duos. I really like those ones a lot. So um, I think this is a cute little collection to like transition into spring. Um, but yeah, let me hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Are you guys going to pick anything up? But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.